Okay, so you go to start something and it doesn't start, or you just want to see what the condition of your battery is. This is about $30. I don't have no idea how you'd say that. But there's a lot of different battery testers out there. Amazon, eBay, and stuff like that for fairly cheap. And they do pretty good. You could take a voltmeter and you could say, well, I got 12.5, 12 point whatever volts on the battery. And yeah, you might have that, but what you got under load, you know, so you'd have to like know what the volts were when you was trying to crank it and stuff. You know, just like this, if you had a wiring problem on this tractor or something, first thing you need is to know the heart. You need to know whether the battery is good or bad because it's hard to test electricals if you don't have a good source of power. Now the other thing, these battery testers really dependent on clean connections. If you don't have really clean battery connections and you try to clamp on there, you might clamp the battery tester on there two or three different times and get different readings. It has to be a good connection. Now once you hook it to the battery it just comes on and then you can hit enter and navigate up and down on the menu and then exit will bring you back to where you started. So I'm just going to try to zoom in and just show you the screen. Now you can see that. You got check, review, set up about 12.17 um, volts. A little bit low. Check, let's hit enter. In vehicle or out of vehicle? I think that, um, okay, in vehicle or out of vehicle? If you do in vehicle, it'll give you, um, an option to do a starting test and a charging test. We'll get to that later. We're going to do this as an out of vehicle because all we want to do is do the battery. Regular, flooded, different, you know, choices for battery. This is regular flooded. Cold cranking amps. You got to look on the battery. There's always a tag. I'll show you in a minute. Um, this is 230 cold cranking amps. So there's 230. Then we're going to hit enter and it's going to test. It says charge and retest. It's showing on 73 cold cranking amps out of 230. State of health is 31%. State of charge 43%. Oh, looky there, 39.95 resistance and 12.14 volts now. But 73 amps, that's not really good. I, I should try to charge it and retest it and see. 230 cold cranking amps, 300 cranking amps, cold cranking amps, 800 cold cranking amps. So I've got a little Ford Ranger that won't start. And let's do the battery check. 10.51 volts um, in vehicle battery test okay it's saying check for surface charge turn the lights on for 10 seconds and then turn the lights back off once you do that then go ahead and proceed regular flooded I don't know if you guys can see that or not cold cranking amps Go up here to 590. And it's testing. Bad cell. Now in this car a little tricky because you don't know what the cold cranking amps are with this cover on it so you'd have to yes. to test it right you'd have to either try to pick that up and look under there or take that off and okay this one i'm 1253 we hit enter we'll do the end vehicle on this one battery test check surface charge turn lights on okay so we did that for about 10 seconds now let's go on Regular or flooded? 
Old cranking amps, 800. Like I say, you move these up or down to get there. And testing. It says there's supposed to be a standard um, 800 cranking amp. State of health is 99%. State of charge, 79%. 3.68 mil ohms of um, resistance. It's saying it's 792 cranking amps and 12.43 volts now. Um, good battery. And vehicle, let's do the cranking test. Please turn off the engine before pressing enter to enter the test. Okay, the engine's off. Start engine. Okay, now it says it's testing. Um, time tells you how many milliseconds. 3558, or 3.558, 11.3 volts, and the minimum voltage was 9.66, cranking normal. I hope you can see that. Now let's see what it does, charging test. So there's telling you the ripple test, and then it's going to a loaded test. Increase RPM to 2500 RPM, and keep air 10 seconds. Press enter to continue. Okay, we'll do that. Charging normal, 1461, 14.61, and 37 millivolt ripple. It says charging normal. So is these things worth it? Yes, they're 100% worth it. This is about $30, I believe, and there's a lot of them out there. Cold cranking amps. We're going to hit the upper arrow, and we'll move that up to 300, because that tells this thing what to compare their readings to. And we'll hit enter. I don't know if you guys can see that or not.